Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. If that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And I thought, it's time, I'm letting you go. For today's video, as promised, your pink fairy godmother is here to deliver a very, very pink makeup organization video. I've been wanting to dabble into my vanity, organize makeup. I started to film this already, got like almost halfway through it, and then realized I was not happy with it. And I cannot put out content if I'm not 100% happy with it. Perfectionist in me was screaming. I went ahead, I found the cutest pink organizers that I could possibly find. I went to every single store I could think of, the container store, Ross, Marshalls, Everywhere, just everywhere. I'm not even gonna list all the stores because I'll sit here forever. I ended up finding these at Burlington. They had these also at Home Goods, but it was a different shade of pink. Like it was not this exact shade of pink. They were like a little bit more muted, like dusty rose pink. But these are like the perfect baby pink. It makes me think of Rose Ballerine by Louis Vuitton. So yeah, that's like my favorite shade of pink if you guys don't know. It's so, so pretty. Let me show you guys a close-up. You probably already saw these if you watched any of my previous videos. I did haul these in a video. If you guys want to see a full haul of everything that I got on that shopping trip, I'm going to just link it down below. got two sets of these organizers. They are falling apart. They're falling apart. Oh, I fall apart. I got 12 and 12, so that's 24 organizers. I'm praying that that's enough, but if not, we know where they're at, so we'll go get more. They have a bunch at Burlington. And I took the two 12 sets that they had. They had some like six set and eight organizer sets. So yeah, I got these and then I got some other. I guess like I'll just do a little like organizer haul really quickly. I picked these ones up at Home Goods. I also showed these in a haul. I will link that haul below if you guys want to see the other stuff I got at Home Goods. I picked up a trash can for my vanity. I do have the trash can that automatically opens, but I use that trash can in my office now. So I got one for my vanity space. This one was so cute. I found it at Ross for $5. So I don't know if you guys saw my brush cart. I am going to show it to you guys in this video. But I was looking for organizers that would fit in my brush cart. You guys will see what I mean in the video once it starts. But yeah, I got four of these. These were $3.99 at Ross. And these are just going to be um, little brush holders for my brush cart. I also picked this up. It's like a spinning organizer. I don't know what we will use this for, but... It was cute, so I got it. We might not even use it on the vanity, but, you know, worth sharing. This was at Ross for $6.99. I did visit a new store that I've never heard of before. It's called the 99 Cent Store, and it's here in LA. Actually, a bunch of them here, and I found these organizers right here. Again, I don't know if these will be used for the vanity or for my island, but I will figure out what I want to use these for. I also thought these might be cute to put my Juicy Couture jewelry in them. I don't know. But yeah, I also picked up a bunch of Ioni lashes from the 99 cent store. They had like every style of Ioni lashes you could think of. These lashes are amazing. Like they're a dollar. They are so cute. You can find these at Dollar Tree as well. But the 99 cent store just had all of these different styles. And oh my gosh, I love these ones. The packaging is also so cute. And of course, if you guys missed this video, I will link it below. I'm going to link like three of my past videos. If you have not caught up on my videos, girl, what are you doing with your life? They're going to be linked down below. Look at this lamp. A lot of you guys were saying you wanted to see it lit up in that video. I'll light it up for you guys at the end so you guys can see how beautiful it's going to look. On the vanity, it has this gold base. It actually, I forgot to show you guys. It has a USB thing so you can plug something into it to like to charge. And just because I know you guys will ask when you see this, this is my pink vacuum. I got this on Amazon. It's currently out of stock, but I will link it below um, in case it comes back in stock. It will be linked down below. Okay, so basically, I cleared off my entire vanity. You're seeing like a hook. That's a man hook there that doesn't go there. Um, but yeah, I cleared off my entire vanity. We're going to be wiping this whole thing down. The mirror has like lipstick on it or something. I don't even know how that happened. 
Um, I put all my makeup in here already because I just needed to unpack and feel like a normal human being. But my goal is to take everything out and actually set up my vanity the right way. We're going to pink out this vanity. I don't know if you guys remember my other impressions vanity that my mom has now. This is a new vanity. Basically bought the exact same vanity again so it doesn't look like a different vanity but it is. This one is not pinked out like the drawers don't have pink at the bottom or anything like that because this is not that other vanity but I ordered the pink um, paper vinyl or whatever I put in the drawers I will link it below on Amazon and I'm waiting for it to come in and we're actually gonna pink out all the bottom of the drawers but for today we're gonna organize my towers um, in the pink organizers that I hauled at the beginning of this video why is do you guys see that my phone flashlight is on I don't even know why I want all my makeup to be cute and pretty and to look nice kind of like if you've seen any of my other makeup organization videos i have a whole playlist i'll link it re-watch those videos and it inspired me to finally finally just set up my vanity <laughs> i've been putting it off um i've been living life you know i am in la now so there's quite a bit of things to do all the time but yeah i'm going to actually be using my baskets that i got from the 99 cent store and is 99 cent store only in LA or only in California? Let me know. Do you guys have 99 cent stores in other states? I'm just curious. But anyway, I'm going to use these to like get all the, the makeup out of the drawers. Um, I'm going to find other baskets around the apartment too to put makeup in. I'm just going to take everything out and we're just going to start new. Kinda simple, kinda wishful about things. And you're kinda simple, but like a pistol, you fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover, and sometimes you don't wanna come back cause you'd rather stay out with another. Talking to strangers and make us spontaneously. Okay, I'm going to take some wipes and I'm just going to go ahead and clean some of these drawers and some of these drawers are just already very dirty because I have been using this vanity for the last two months that I've been here like since I got it so it just got a little dirty little dirty so we're just gonna sanitize and wipe everything and I don't know how I'm gonna organize but I'm gonna try to organize this as functional as possible for me at the moment I'm gonna have four of these like skinny or is it five we have five of these like and then we have a bunch of these and like do you guys see how these fit so well oh no oh well they're it's because they're stacked up layer in there like I feel like I could do a combination of different organizers like if I wanted to I could do this right here um, we also have these big tubs and there is four of these so I could even um, for example these are taped I could do something like this and then we can put one of these there's just so many combinations that I can do with these organizers which is why I picked them up why I think they're perfect for your vanity so this store is going to be my primers and setting sprays so um i think i'm just gonna separate them in two of these bins right here we're just gonna have like primers in one and setting sprays in one and we'll see how that looks Thank you. 
I'm gonna actually throw this in my skincare because this is actually just an SPF lotion. I don't know why it's in here, but I almost left it in here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna put this with my skincare. My prepping drawer looks like. I went ahead and put no particular order. I just kind of put them how they fit. And we have setting sprays back here. The reason why I put the setting sprays back here is because I keep setting sprays in my brush cart that I reach for all the time. So these are just the ones I'm not reaching for currently and um, yeah we just need some more to store those so i'm obsessed with these organizers i cannot say enough how obsessed i am with this shade of pink and the way these organizers look okay i wanted to share with you guys that i got this new baby right here i ordered this from amazon it is a super huge roll of stick on vinyl that i'm going to use to line my top drawers so they're pink we're gonna pink out the vanity i know you guys have seen me do this before but um we're gonna do it again so i'm going to be lining all the top drawers so they're cute and really really cute and pink we're gonna pink the heck out of this vanity okay i decided we're going to go ahead and take a pause from organizing the other drawers and we're gonna go ahead and line all these drawers in pink so that i can figure out what makeup's gonna go on top of here um so that i know what makeup is not gonna go in the drawers so we won't need space for it in the other drawers if that makes sense <laughs> Here's a little hack. You want to go ahead and cut all the pieces you're going to need. So we're going to need two, well, basically one full piece and one like smaller, skinnier piece. So we're essentially going to need like one, two, three, four to five of these. So I'm going to go ahead and cut five of these already and have them ready to go so we don't have to like measure over and over and over again. Okay, I'm noticing something. I don't know if I'm going to love this shade of pink. I was hoping it would be a lighter shade of pink, um, but it's hard to tell when you order on Amazon. So if you like the shade of pink, though, um, this, is, this is a gorgeous shade of pink, but I'm just noticing a lot of my products are like baby pink like my brushes are like even lighter pink than this so i kind of wanted a shade that matched my brushes but i already cut it so we're gonna do it and maybe eventually we'll upgrade it and i'll do another video i think i'm just overthinking it and it's gonna look fun ahead and changed and i went to michael's and i picked up my vinyl that i used the last time i don't know why i was not loving the other one so we're gonna do this one for the top drawers and i'm still gonna go ahead and use this for these drawers that you don't get you don't see through it's just you know the ones that you see through i just need them to be a certain way so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use this for in the drawers that you can't see through in these for the top. I'm not gonna go in depth into how I do this just because I already have a video up on this. I'm gonna link it down below. It was a different makeup organization video. You guys will also really enjoy, I feel like. So yeah, go ahead and watch that if you guys wanna see how I line the drawers. Kinda gave you guys a little tip already, so <laughs> with the other one. But yeah, this one was just like so hard to work with. So um, these, I have to... For these drawers, I have to stick it on because of how the drawer is like big. This fits perfectly across. Um, I just have to cut a little bit off. And so these, I don't actually stick them. Little hack. I don't stick them. I just slide it and use it as a liner without sticking it. Just because you, I don't have to because organizers go on top of it. So I don't have to stick it down. I wanted to show you guys this vinyl is the exact same color as my brush handles from my brush set. And these are back in stock May 1st if you guys are interested in my brush set. It's limited edition. This will be the last restock from what I know. So make sure you go get your hands on it if you want it.
Okay guys, it is a new day and I opened the blinds because it's really nice outside today and I wanted to get some sunlight in the room for this lighting. I did get myself a pink drink as you can see right there and I decided, you guys are going to laugh, I'm all over the place, decided I'm going to go ahead and fill up the top drawers and like do the top of my vanity so that I know what's going to go on top of the vanity so that i don't put it in the drawers below just to save i have a haul to show you guys from ross let me i know this looks like a beautiful mess um but let me get them on top of the vanity so i can show you guys yes i found this gorgeous organizer at ross can you even believe it it's so pretty i am gonna do a separate like ross shop with me and haul so definitely stay tuned for that video but um obviously i bought this to use for this video i went in there specifically to find some stuff for my vanity maybe i just i was feeling like switching it up a little bit so you know i wanted to see how we could switch it up make it a little bit different than what i've had in the past i just feel like it's time i've had the same vanity set up forever and i just wanted something a little different so i found this organizer it's gorgeous and then i found these roses at michael's of course i told you guys i went to michael's to get the lining inside of these top drawers here so um at michael's i found these gorgeous flowers they were on sale i think 40 percent off or something like that and then this vase i got at burlington a long time ago i actually bought a vase at ross but i didn't love how it looked i love how this one looks though i'm just loving like the gold rose gold like the metallics i feel like it gives it such a romantic feel and it balances out all of the pink so um, i'm going to set up the top of my vanity and we're going to see what products we're going to put inside of the this new thing and you know all that good stuff Hey guys, this is what I have so far. I do have to clean the acrylic, like the brush holders and the little lipstick holder. I'm just going to give those a little wipe down. here is my brush collection i know i do get a lot of new viewers when i do these kinds of videos so i just want to say hi welcome this is my brush that i created right here in collaboration with sl miss glam and if you guys are interested it's actually relaunching tomorrow monday may 1st and it is limited edition so that's um you know whatever we sell that's going to be i think the last relaunch um if you guys demand it enough maybe there will be another but um you know for now as far as i know this will be the last launch of the brush set we already did one other launch it sold out in two days so thank you so much for the love and the support and i just was like so mind blown um let you guys know there is a whole video about this brush set how to use it every brush inside of the set the makeup bag that comes in it everything and i will link that video right here with the little eye um, and down below in the comment section and description make sure you check that out if you want to know more about the brushes but yeah these are gonna go inside of my little brush display case so these are not all of the brushes some of them are dirty i did try to not use the brushes in this case but clearly i'm a functional kind of person and so eventually i end up just using them and eventually i will probably just use all of them i did already save one of my brush sets without unboxing it it's brand new in the package and i saved it for memorabilia purposes so i definitely already have a set that is being preserved so i feel better about using my brush set that is in the case if i need to but i have plenty more brush sets like i think i kept like six brush sets for myself two to use four to kind of display and do pictures and things and um, when i was doing content i'd be like no i gotta open a new one now <laughs> or like i did like multiple unboxings for like different things that i did like different content i made 
So definitely just um, that's why I kept so many but it is my brush set so you know if I could have a whole room of them I probably would. Um, I'm just really proud of them and it makes me happy to look at them so I keep them in my brush cases and I wanted to show you guys something else. I already um, saw this but I'm going to be using this to put my brush set in like the brushes that I'm actually going to be using like the few brush sets I have to use. I'm going to put them in here and this is like a really like cute like it twirl so I thought this would be perfect to put my everyday brushes brushes that I am currently using even if it's not my brush set obviously but right now I'm pretty much only using my brush set because <laughs> I'm obsessed with it so I'm going to put it in here and that way I can like put it underneath the vanity when I'm not using them or they're dirty and then I can put it back on top um, if I whenever I am using it so they're in my bathroom because I need to wash some brushes isn't my bathroom pretty though I just love my bathroom so much so I'm going to get all my brush washing gear out and um, wash some of these brushes, show you guys what I use to wash my brushes. The best thing hands down to clean your makeup brushes is the Zote Bar Soap. I get this at the 99 cent store, you can find this at the, any dollar store, I think. Walmart, Dollar General, 99 cent store, maybe Dollar Tree, because this is literally like 80 cents. It was a little more expensive at the 99 cent store, it was $1.25 or something. I don't know, maybe the price went up. But this is a small version of it, so I feel like it should have been cheaper. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, usually it's a lot bigger than this, but this will clean brushes spotless. And then I just got this little rug mat thing to um, scrub my brushes so that I don't have to use the palm of my hands. And this is going to be a lifesaver. This was from Marshalls, it was $5 I think, so I highly recommend. I will link some similar down below from like Amazon or Timu or something. These in the back so it'll stick to your sink. You just press it in and get to scrubbing. So Hey guys, if you hear that in the background, Manny's helping me finish washing brushes and he's watching a Netflix show, so um, that's what's happening. But I'm going to go ahead and fill up this organizer. I feel like we're going to work from the top down. Um, then I'll go in and do like the drawers and the inside these top glass drawers and then we'll go down. Here's what I did so far. There's still a little bit of space here, um, so I could put other things, but um, I don't know what I'm going to put yet. So we're going to leave it like that as is for now. Because cream products are my go-tos right now. I feel like I want to put my cream products in these two drawers here. And um, we're going to do like maybe like blushes in one, since I think that's what I have more. And highlighters and bronzers in the bottom one. And I feel like that'll be so much easier to reach for it in here and it'll just be really cute and it'll look really pretty in this pink drawer to take photos of all my cream products and stuff yeah let's do that i did put my favorite foundations on top some of my favorite powders primers and things like that that i will reach for often since this is going to be out in the open it'll make it to where i don't have to bend over and go in my drawers as much so i know this organizer is from ross so i'm gonna try to link the most similar ones that I can find. I've seen similar ones on Amazon, so I'm going to link them if you guys are interested and maybe you can't find it at your Ross. I know, I know they have to have these on Amazon, you know? I just know they do, so I'm going to look for them and link them for you guys. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and keep organizing. I'm going to go in with my blushes on this top drawer 
we're just gonna put them all in there really aesthetic let me move the angle so you guys can get a good like flat light of this hopefully you guys can get a good view right here of what i'm gonna be putting inside of this drawer Have for my cream blushes i know i have a few more out there in that wild mess of makeup that i have so i will be adding them as i find them but this is what it's looking like i feel like there's so much more room for growth literally my cream blush section in my vanity was overflowing i feel like this is going to really open up another drawer for other things in my vanity so i really love that i have room to grow in a favorite makeup category i love a good cream blush i think it's my favorite makeup product at the moment um, we're gonna go ahead and do all of my cream bronzers and highlights in this one okay this is not like the organizer i would have loved for this i would have loved one that goes halfway and there was some but i'm telling you guys i slept on it and i didn't pick them up but um i'm gonna use this one to just kind of just divide the drawer like um Cr uh, liquid and cream blush or highlighters to bronzers i have less highlighters so i think i'm going to use this one for that and then the bronzers are going to go in the front so i told you guys i had more cream blushes in there somewhere put it back here so those are literally all of my highlights i don't have very many as i told you guys so Okay, so I turned on my vanity lights, studio lights, so that you guys can see a little bit better. So the lighting's a little bit different. That's why the sun's going down. So, you know, we need that good lighting. Um, this is what I ended up doing. So as you guys can see, there's a couple different things. I did add my favorite NARS lip gloss right here. I just hauled this for the Sephora VIB So haul. If you did not watch that video, you definitely should because this gloss on is the most gorgeous gloss I've ever seen. You guys have to go see what it looks like. I'll go see how pretty it is. And then I did add a few more of my favorite lippies. We have this Milani one, um, some MAC ones here. We just kind of did a little magic, added my lip balms here on the side. And then I did go ahead and put another one of my favorite primers. I was gonna put it away in the drawer and I just could not. I was like, no, I need to have that primer. So I have all of my favorite prepping things, all of my favorite foundations, powders, lippies, some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes by Natasha Denona. Um, I did put my Patrick Ta cream blush and bronzer up here because I reach for these constantly and then I put the YSL products kind of as decor pieces. I don't reach for those as much um, anymore but I do love them. I keep them because the packaging is so so pretty. Of course you guys saw the blush drawer is looking so pretty. So that's what we did for the blush drawer and then we have our cream bronzer and highlighting drawer. And we did do a little compartment with one of my organizers there. And that's what we have so far. And I'm super happy with it. It's so pretty on top of my vanity. I just cannot stop staring at it. It is so freaking beautiful. Like, ugh, I can't deal. And put makeup inside these top drawers. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I lined them. The vinyl I used is from Cricut. I got it at Michael's. And, you know, it's time to just put some of these um, pretty makeup products up here. I'm going to do a little shop my stash and pull some products that I've been wanting to use, some new new, um, things like that that I also want to display. I just, I love this vanity so much because I get to display so much of my favorite makeup and I just love that. So, um, let me go ahead and pull some products and then we'll get to putting some products up on this top, top drawers. The reason I'm going to do that this way is because this drawer is mainly hidden by the organizer. So I feel like in this one it doesn't have to be super perfect and I can kind of like go in and out of this drawer and, and like, you know, mess it up if I need to, whatever. And the other two are more displayed, so the other two I'm going to focus more on making them like really aesthetically pleasing. Still going to be pretty aesthetically pleasing because the makeup I have that's new is like gorgeous. I picked up the new Too Faced um, Healthy Glow foundation picked up this pinker times ahead palette i picked up this Too faced cloud blush and it is the barbie pink one because that's my favorite color of blush to wear it looks like this i'm gonna put that in here i have a new highlighter from a small business from riza and this is a dream beauty highlighter you guys this is like diamonds it's so beautiful i'm dying to use it and i finally 
finally found it in my mess of things <laughs> that, that I've unpacked. So I'm excited to finally use this. I'm going to put that in my new drawer. I'm going to go ahead and also add this Born This Way Sunset Strip palette. I know this is not new to like the makeup world but it's kind of new to me i bought this and then i kind of stashed it and i've never really like used it so i kind of want to try to use it and then i'm also going to put okay i have picked some products so this is new this is the elf halo glow setting powder i actually really like this powder so i want to continue to use it i have this this is not new this is a tarte highlighter that is like super super pretty and i just want to continue to use it because i know i like it this is one of those products that i kind of use for a little bit then i stash this is a nyx concealer i love the packaging of this and this is a really good concealer i want to try to use more of that i want to try to use my lancome juicy tube i feel like i bought this i used it that month and then i kind of went on to the next thing so i kind of want to go back and revisit it same with these really pretty lancome not lancome l'oreal l'oreal and lancome are the same branch like they're owned by the same people i think so sometimes i get confused but yeah um there's these l'oreal glosses um i bought them used them for a little bit then stashed them and so i think i kind of want to revisit these as well so we're gonna okay i want to go in and use these so the chanel foundation is one i'm revisiting i know i love this and i just kind of you know, took a break from it. I kind of want to go back to it now. This is a Le Beige foundation. This works really well for my dry skin. I have another concealer and the reason I'm going to add this in is because I just got this and I feel like I haven't tested it out as much as I want in order to give like a good opinion on it. So I do want to add this in and try to use that. There's another item I want to revisit simply because I know I really liked it and I kind of haven't used it in a minute. And this is the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette from like 2021, holiday 2021. I can't quite remember what year, but I'm going to put it in there and revisit it. And um, I might get convinced to buy the one this year because it's such a good palette. I always love the Hourglass Holiday Palette. Another eye palette I'm going to add in is this Barbie Malibu Palette by ColourPop. I think this finally sold out on their website. It was on clearance for so long. Um, but I want to kind of keep using it because I really liked it. I've only used it once and I just kind of want to use it a few more times before I stash it with all my other palettes. And um, I don't want to forget about it and I just got it so I'm a little bit excited about using it. Some other lippies I want to add in are my Chanel lippies. The gloss and the two matte... Um, they're matte, but then you put a gloss on top, so really they're glossy, but these are just... I can't re remember the exact name, you guys, but I love these Chanel lippies. They are so good. This is my favorite product, like color product at Chanel. There are some more new products I want to add in. These two Kylie lip colors I want to add in because I bought them. This is a new formulation, and I just haven't used them. I got Coco K and Built to Last, and... Um, I know that the colors are different than Coco K last time. I purchased it again because I wanted to see the difference and be able to tell you guys the difference. Because you guys know Coco K was my favorite shade of pink, like lipstick, for the longest time. And it got reformulated and the color changed. So am I going to love it as much? I don't know. But I do have the new formulation. It's been sitting for months and I just need to try it out. So that's why these are going to go in the drawer. And then this is a like a revolution eye... Thing. like it's an eye glitter and an eye metallic and this is literally sealed we need to use it because it looks gorgeous so and i'm gonna go ahead and organize this and see how much room we have kind of simple kind of wishful about things okay i feel like we do have a little spot we can fill here so i'm going to see what else I want to throw in this shop my stash. I decided I'm going to add these Charlotte Tilbury glosses. I love these, but I don't use them as often as I should. So I'm going to put these in so I can use them some more. Putting in some Physicians Formula blushes. The first one being the Strawberry Blush. This is viral because of how cute the packaging is. And I haven't tried it because I don't want to mess it up. But it's time to actually try it for a video or get ready with me or something. I also just got this in PR not too long ago. This is the... Physicians Formula Matte Minoy Butter Blush in Maui Mattes and I just really want to test this. It looks so pretty with the like the florals. Let me open it for you guys so you can see. Like two highlighters. Well, this one is more like a blush topper. This is the Givenchy Pink Highlighter. I used this like two times and I loved it both times I used it and I just want to use it some more. And then this one I haven't touched at all. This is the Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter by Benefit and it looks so pretty. Let me show you. 
does twinkle when it hits the light so i'm excited to try this out my goodness this looks so good it's so aesthetically pleasing that's why i love this vanity because you can just display your makeup and it looks so beautiful and you can make it so aesthetically pleasing so I'm very excited to do my makeup and do like a get ready with me with this little shop my stash. If you guys want to see some shop my stash videos, I think you guys know what that is. Let me know. I feel like my makeup videos, like I feel like people will ask for them, but when I post them, they don't do as well. So I don't really understand that. But you know, if I post a makeup video and you guys love the makeup videos, make sure that you're you know liking them sharing them commenting so that i know because if you know i know by how well a video does what you guys want to see it's just how i know what to post more of it just it's what makes sense to me so if you love makeup videos or my makeup content just make sure you hit that thumbs up you interact because that's how i will know okay you guys will see a little bit of a mess on the floor that's because i have like my vacuum and things this right here um, i have these baskets of products that i pulled of like just products that are really really aesthetically pleasing here and these are just products i'm going to display on the top and the other two drawers these are not necessarily shop my stash they're not necessarily anything they're just products that i like the packaging and so we're gonna display them so that my vanity looks pretty and i'm inspired by it when i come in here in the mornings and get ready put all my pretty things on display i think they're blushes and uh, the packaging the packaging is adorable so like just look at that so beautiful i have their lippies too so yeah we're gonna go ahead and um i don't know do something i don't know what i'm gonna do so let me just do something and if you guys can see i brought my ipad out i'm watching videos in between this I always get questions about this powder because the packaging is so so pretty this is from kira cosmetics so i will link it down below if you guys are interested this little juicy couture eyeshadow i'm gonna just slide right in that little gap right there I think that's as good as it's gonna get for this middle drawer, you guys. I really love it. It has so many pretty items. Okay, for this drawer, I did do a little stash shopping up here. And I tried to pick palettes that I really want to use um, and palettes that are fairly new as well. You know, some of my favorite palettes as well. So I haven't been buying eyeshadow palettes to be honest. So it's not like I have a ton of new eyeshadow palettes or anything. So you guys have seen most of these. Um, so I'm not gonna go through it too much. I'm going to stack these. This is what I do when I run out of room. I kind of stack them a little bit just to fit more. Okay guys, that's everything that's gonna go on top of my vanity. I feel like we're safe to organize the bottom drawers now. However, I did notice um, this organizer is empty because I just washed the brushes so they're drying. And then that organizer is empty because that's where I keep my powder puffs and beauty blenders. This cute little jar with the diamond. If you guys wanted to see my lamp lit up. So we're gonna light it up <laughs> so you guys can see it about that beauty right there. So we're gonna light her up and see how she looks. There she is, guys, lit up. I'm gonna turn the light off so you guys can see. Oh, she's so pretty. It's even more beautiful in person. Like, I feel like the camera is not doing it justice. Such a vibe in here. It's giving like boudoir dressing room vibes. Turned off my bulbs because I was like, maybe that's affecting the mood, but honestly, I don't think it made a difference. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what it looks like. Just realized she was a little bit crooked when I showed you guys a minute ago, so I straightened her out, and yeah, that's what she looks like lit up. I feel like I also needed to shut my blinds. Yeah, this is what she looks like lit up. I feel like it's prettier in person.
Maybe my eye drawer, so like mascara, eyebrow, eyelash glue type things, and I did already have it somewhat organized, so I'm going to put it kind of back how it was, and then we're going to do some adjustments to it. I had all my mascaras and things in these ones, which I really like, so we're going to kind of keep these. I have my, an eyebrow one here, eyeliner one here, three of those. And then we have all of these little things to put in there. Okay, I feel like this is much more organized than what it was before. I'm just going to go in and floof some things. This drawer right here was my cream product drawer, but we put all my cream products on top as you guys saw. So I don't really have a use for this drawer. So I think what I'm going to do is put all of my cute headbands and mirrors that I like to use to do my makeup in this one. Far back, I can't even see what's in there. So I think I'm going to keep it... And like right there okay i also have this one and then i have this one with pearls right here so i'm just gonna like scoop those over and then put this one here so cute i love that i was able to free up a drawer for this i was keeping this stuff on my island um but i would like to use my island for other things so i really like that we were able to make room a whole drawer so happy i'm gonna go ahead and use this for lips and right now my lip drawer is this drawer and the bottom drawer because i have like high-end lipsticks and then drugstore lipsticks separated so i'm gonna go ahead and take all this out move it up organizer right here is from for her vanity i do have a coupon code you guys can use which i will overlay on the screen it's just my name i think with 10 at the end this has some fashion nova lipsticks glosses other glosses and things and i think we're just going to take this out and do a little organization i did this when i first moved in and i just honestly don't love how it is and I think I'm gonna actually take out all the glosses from it and we're gonna be strictly just like lipsticks in this. And I wish I had three more of these. We used them for this one so we don't have any more. So we're gonna have to just make do with what we have. So in this bottom drawer, I have my drugstore lipsticks and this, I mean, it has no organization, but I think I'm going to leave it like this for now until I can buy another lipstick organizer or maybe even just a clear one on Amazon. So um, I'm going to add a liner and we're just going to pop those organizers in the other drawer. I added a liner and I just went ahead and moved those up. I told you guys I'm just going to leave these as is. I do have this empty drawer that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. So we're going to leave it and we're going to move on to the other side. See what we come up with for that side and then we'll figure out what we're doing with this drawer. I have my powders and concealers and organizers already but I don't really love it i guess so i think we can probably switch it up
finally this drawer is to my standards. I rearranged a bunch as you guys just saw, but finally it looks so good. Guys, this next drawer is my foundation, so I'm gonna put inner in and I have my organizer. Ending on these organizers, but I think I want to lay them back down with this. Since the reason I had them standing is because I had all my concealers, powders, and foundations in one drawer. So you guys know everybody has used this organizer. It's like a spice rack organizer. Amazon, so I will link it. But I've used this organizer a, t a bunch and I really like it. Sometimes I use these on their own, but I use them under foundation as well. So I'm just going to put them in the primer drawer to save some space. I do have this drawer down here. This has all of my drugstore things, but I'm going to go ahead and move the foundations up since I only have three. I'm going to move the concealers in with my high-end ones because it does fit just fine. Now, I think the powders we can fit in with the drugstore blushes and stuff, so I think that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to use my new organizers and I'm going to put a liner on the drawer, so let me do that really quick. The drawer is lined and I'm going to go ahead and see what arrangement of organizers that I want to do here. So that is what all of my drugstore cheek products and setting powders look like. So I think the very, very bottom, I'm going to go ahead and put all of my high-end blushes and bronzers. I have condensed my powdered products quite a bit because I'm more into creams now. I buy cream and liquid products more. I actually ended up moving my drugstore ones down and I'm going to put my high-end ones in this drawer. The thing about having these organizers is you could just move everything quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Make sure I use one of these. And like put all of these. I think that looks better. And then I can push this up and we can see more of them. Do that much organizing in this drawer. It was kind of already done, but that's because these organizers are so good like that. And I really love these. These are from Sony Cosmetics. Okay guys, so we are done with all of this. So now I'm just going to organize my brush cart and we will be done guys. Here is what my brush cart looks like. These are the organizers I got for this um, to replace the solo cup. So I guess we can start there. Two of those fit perfectly on there. It is so satisfying. So I'm separating them between eye and face brushes kind of. I did have palettes down here or brushes here. Um, just because I know I have a lot more brushes that I want to put here. I have a lot of Essence Glam brushes because as you guys know, I'm, you know, she's my bestie and I keep all our brushes, <laughs> like all her brush sets. So that's why I have so many. So I just have makeup brushes. That's why I had to come out with my own brush collection because I love makeup brushes. <laughs> that's my excuse. I know I should get rid of some of these, but I'm not going to because it's my stuff and it's my makeup. And you can judge me all you want. This is what I love, what I'm passionate about. This is my job. And, um, you know, make of that what you will. I will say I do want to move these Luxie brushes down because I just don't reach for these as much. And on top, I want to put her baby doll brushes. They look like this. I have a lot of them dirty, so um, I need to kind of wash them. Okay, that worked out perfectly for the brushes. Um, I did say I want to fit my lip liners on here, but 
it is not looking like it sis okay here's what i did with my lip liners i just put these two containers inside of my drugstore lipstick drawer and we put my lip liners in here because this is a lip drawer so it just makes more sense than having them on the brush cart i was thinking of putting my little fan instead of having it on top of my vanity i could have it right here my little fan actually fit perfectly right there and i'm really really happy with how this turned out now i just got to put away all these palettes which i do have a drawer in my eyeliner where i keep palettes so i'm going to do that so that is going to be everything for today's video this is not going to be an official tour Tour. I'm going to give you guys an official vanity tour soon once my brushes are all cleaned and displayed and once I, you know, kind of get the little final touches and finishing details done on this vanity, I will give you guys an official vanity tour. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed organizing my vanity with me. Stayed until the end. Of course, you guys know the emoji scavenger hunt. Just go ahead and find those emojis and leave them down below. Okay, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.